Hi guys, it's Kay Roche and today I'm filling you guys in on all my beauty secrets. So we're gonna start from top to bottom, get this skin looking real nice and tight, okay? So I'm in my bathroom as you guys can see and I'm gonna be washing my face. So something that a lot of people don't know is I don't use like an actual face wash to wash my face. I have been using this brand for a while now. This is the Dr. Bronner's 4-in-1 Peppermint Organic Soap and I love this to wash my face and I have sensitive skin which a lot of people also don't know so if you need any tips and tricks on how to like get clear skin but not like irritate your skin follow me okay because i i've been through it all okay everything under the sun has broken me out but this has not the only thing is this is a very powerful face wash so i would only use this at night like after you take off your makeup when you're really getting your skin clean or like a day like today where i'm not wearing any makeup just to make sure my skin is really nice i also recommend cleaning clear super simple super affordable if you're someone who needs something to like freshen up before you start putting on makeup and everything but this i would suggest to get a really nice deep clean so we're gonna go ahead and start washing i'm also gonna use a face brush you can get these from anywhere they're really like five dollars at walmart just a little something extra to help me really get in there really get it real nice and clean okay so now we're gonna start washing <laughs> One thing that I would advise about that face wash is that it is extremely concentrated. So a little bit goes a long way, but it will leave your skin feeling so fresh. That minty feeling will last all day and I love it. It's like really refreshing and hydrating on the skin. So I love that, okay? But moving on, once we are done with that, we're gonna go ahead and start moving in to actual skincare, moisturizers, all of that. Now I have oily skin, so I have to look out for that, but a lot of oily skin people don't know that you shouldn't necessarily skip moisturizers when you have oily skin to prevent oils, cause all that's gonna do is make your skin overproduce oils, which is not what you want, okay? You're trying to tone them down so you want to actually moisturize i didn't know this for the longest and once i started doing it it actually helped me out make sure that you're moisturizing so i have pretty lengthy skincare process and what i've learned is to go from thinnest to thickest so that everything has their chance to actually penetrate and get into the skin so i'm going to start with an eye cream now this isn't the eye cream that i necessarily suggest this is the kylie skin eye cream but my preferred eye cream is the elf eye cream i love it and i can't find it right now but i love that and it's super affordable if you're looking for any skincare if you're just getting into skincare elf is definitely the place to look because it's super affordable and their products are actually worth your while since i don't have that eye cream i'm just going to use some of my kylie i don't like using the spatula i just like to put it on my finger all right, so once that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and move to my Awake Low Pill. I love this stuff. I got this a while ago, and I've been using it ever since, as you guys can see. Sometimes at night, when I'm doing like my quick skincare routine, I will use this to moisturize because it's not too heavy to where it's like clogging your pores overnight, but it's just enough to moisturize the skin. So I love using this with my quick skincare routine as well as my normal skincare routine because it's just that good. So you don't need a lot. This one is actually really thin you guys can see it literally comes out like water so it doesn't take a lot at all it feels like water on the skin but it's like so moisturizing at the same time i love this stuff These are the 111 Skin Face Drops, and I love these. I can't remember who put me on to these. Somebody put me on, and I've been on ever since. And I love using this to enhance a makeup product, like a primer. A few drops of this into a primer is everything. Again, it doesn't take a lot. It just perfectly rejuvenates the skin and i don't know about all the all the details and everything within it but some type of booster and since i use this in my routine i have actually genuinely seen a difference 
Now I'm going to go into my anti-aging. So this is the Juice Beauty, the organic solution stem cellular anti-wrinkle booster serum. I swear by this stuff, okay? I am only 19. I probably don't need to worry about all of this, but I do. And I think that it's never too early to worry about anti-aging, okay? Why not do it before it's a problem so that the problem doesn't become something? is how I see it. So I've been using an anti-aging product probably since I started wearing makeup because makeup ages you, baby. I got into skincare pretty early on. Since I got into makeup pretty early on, I started wearing makeup when I was in like third grade, but not because like I was doing it. I cheered when I was younger and we used to wear makeup for competitions and ever since then I've been hooked. I probably officially started wearing makeup myself like having my own makeup and I was in like fourth or fifth grade and by sixth grade I like knew how to be the face but I wasn't allowed to wear it out the house like I wasn't even allowed to wear mascara out the house. I still figured out a way to do it but that's not the point. Anyways so I put some on my face and I also am going to take some on my neck. The neck is what shows your age, kids. Ever since then, I've been pretty into skincare. I wouldn't say I had the best routines and the best habits from the beginning. I'm definitely still learning, but it's never too late to learn. And you can always add stuff to your routine, take stuff away, learn what works best for your skin. I've learned that the hard way too. Not everyone's routine works for everyone. So you have to figure out what works for you. It's summertime and I live in Atlanta. So you know the sun is beaming and ain't nobody got time to have skin cancer, dark spots, any discoloration on the skin. Once we are getting our skin looking right, we don't need any more problems. All right, so at this point, y'all are probably thinking your girl is a little obsessive with the products that she's using. But I only have two more face products. We're gonna get into them. I. This is that good good. This is the Serum Kind Purple Cabbage Drops. This is calming and nourishing. I love using this before bed. It just feels so good on the skin. Your skin feels so hydrated. It's like cooling, not like minty. It just feels so refreshing. Like it just does what it's supposed to. It calms the skin. It refreshes the skin. It's the only thing, the smell is a little off-putting. To me, it smells like Comet. If you know the cleaning product Comet, you know what I'm talking about. That's what it smells like. The feel, the texture of it is amazing. Now this is something that I really like to take the time to press into the skin and really moisturize it so that it can really do its job. And now last but not least, we have to finish it off with my favorite, the e.l.f. Holy Hydration Face Cream. A tip that I learned is to rub upwards on the face, on the neck. Gravity is already pulling your face downwards. You want to do the opposite when applying your moisturizers and your products. I'm just going to push that into the skin as well. That just feels so good and look at that glowy skin. All right, so now the face, the skin is moisturized. We're gonna get into the lips real quick because we can't forget those. I have struggled with lip problems. I have sensitive skin, sensitive body, sensitive lips, sensitive, literally sensitive everything. I was born with it and so I had basically lip eczema. I get eczema all on my body, but I had lip eczema at one point and it got really bad. It is the most embarrassing thing. If you've ever seen eczema like on the skin it's like that but on your lips and it's like 10 times worse it was a nightmare and i was so embarrassed i wore lipstick to school literally every day because i was so embarrassed of how dark my lips were and when the lipstick rubbed off i would like immediately run to the bathroom put some more on because it was that embarrassing i have nightmares about it coming back so now i really try my hardest to take care of my lips and i exfoliate every time i brush my teeth moisturize as often as possible so that i can try and prevent it i don't think Think there's really a way of preventing it it just sort of happens because my skin and whatever triggers it i try my hardest to take care of it i just want y'all to know i don't do all this stuff every day let's just be real it would be too taxing on the skin but when i'm really wanting to like take the time set aside and really do it up for my skin really pamper myself this is what i would do 
The last step in my routine is to moisturize the lips. So I'm gonna take this lip balm. This is a fruit butter lip mask. Do this on your lips and your lips will thank you. It's from the brand Seraphine Botanicals. It's just a balm, but it feels so good on your lips. And there you go, your skin is prepped and ready for the day. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and learned something from me. And make sure that you're taking care of your skin. A lot of people look over it. It's never too early to start worrying about anti-aging products. And yeah, so I will see you guys in my next one. Hey guys, what is up? And welcome to my channel for those of you who are new. <laughs> it's kind of weird saying my intro at the end of the video, huh? But I decided to do my personal take on Vogue's beauty secrets. I mean, I still think it's pretty cute. Yeah, the skin's looking good. That's all we should be worried about. But a lot of people always ask me how I take care of my skin. Why is my skin so clear? My family, my friends, people on Instagram, my followers, my supporters, all of, all of y'all be asking me, what do I do to take care of my skin? So I did a skincare routine, but a lot of people have been asking me and I've been using pretty much the same products for the longest time. And this is what I do to keep my skin clear. But yeah, I mean, hope you guys enjoyed this style of video. Let me know if you guys want to see me recreate other styles of videos and things like that in the future. That's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.